Knots crumble under pressure from Siddle, Beard and Porter. Nottinghamshire's nightmare season goes on. They're still the only side in Division 1 yet to win a game, and they went up against one of the form teams, with wins against Hampshire and Somerset taking Essex into second. They would be hoping that the return of Ravi Chandran Ashwin may add a new dynamic to their game as they seek that elusive first victory. Despite winning the toss, their batting innings wouldn't get off to the best of starts. Porter, coming off the back of a nine-wicket haul against Somerset, pitched up and found Duckett's edge to see the Knots opener out for eight. Mullaney would start his innings in defiant mood, freeing his arms as he found and then began to clear the fence. Slater wasn't able to stay with him though, his own watchful innings brought to an end by an impressive catch from keeper Wheater off the bowling of Beard. The captain's 50 would come a few overs later though, as the lunch interval beckoned. It was reached with Knotts on 97 for two. It had been a relatively solid start by Knotts and despite the loss of both Duckett and Slater cheaply, the performance of Mullaney had been a boost of confidence. But the morning's good work was about to come undone as Mullaney and Nash saw the score tick past 100. The young Beard, so effervescent in the last match, picked up his second of the match, Nash feathering through to Wheater. Mullaney would follow two overs later, out the same way, gone for 74. The enthusiasm of youth gave way to experience as Peter Siddle found himself in the wickets. Clark trapped LBW for 15, Knotts now 5 down. Ashwin was the next man to go, trapped LBW for 5 by Porter. And Moores was out without troubling the scorers, bowled by Harmer. Porter then picked up another, Fletcher only able to add one before he was out LBW. But in Broad and Patel, Knotts would find a partnership to stabilise their innings, reaching T, eight down, but knocking on the door of 200. They go past the 200 mark after the restart, another boundary from Broad bringing up the batting point for his side, just their 10th of the season. The experienced Patel wouldn't be able to add many more to the total, trapped LBW for 39 for Siddle's second. And that wicket would see the end of the knot's resistance. Jake Ball, the last man out, caught behind for one, the side all out for 213. It had been another difficult day at the office for Nottinghamshire, only Captain Stephen Mullaney producing an innings of real note. Five of his colleagues out for single figures. Alistair Cook must have faced Stuart Broad countless times in the nets on England duty, but the bowler had the upper hand this time, finding the edge to dismiss his former captain for just two. Nick Brown and Tom Wesley did well to resist, and they found time to hit the occasional boundary, taking Essex past 50. The score, 72 for one when Stumps was called, a good day of cricket for Essex. They'd done well to keep Nottinghamshire at bay. The away side may be shot of confidence, but in conditions heavily favouring batting, just Mullaney had managed to pick up a score above 50, whilst too many Knots batsmen had been out cheaply. They'll be hoping they can get some quick wickets to drag them back into the contest, but Essex trail by just 141 runs, heading into day two.